other beauties, Dragon is Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I promise it won't hurt and thumbs up this video. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll be there. So before I show you guys how I remove acrylic nails and give you guys tips on when it comes to removing acrylic nails, there's a few things that I wanted to touch base on. Number one is that if you do not have the patience or if you're really not aware of how to remove acrylic nails, go see a professional. That is the best way to do it. Um, therefore, you're not damaging any of your nails. Therefore, you're not damaging your nails because it's really easy to damage your nails if you are not aware or if you do not know how to properly remove acrylics, okay? Number two, do not chew and gnaw off your acrylic nails. I see so many girls do it. They sit there and they just bite them off. And number one, that can damage your nails. Number two, acrylic should not be placed in the mouth. It is a chemical. It's not meant to be anywhere in the mouth where it can go into your body. Um, you can end up swallowing pieces of acrylic, which is not good. And thirdly, your teeth. Like... <laughs> you're jacking up your teeth and all that because acrylic is your teeth are not made to remove acrylic so please don't gnaw off your acrylics nor um if you're not familiar with how to remove this or if you're not comfortable comfortable with removing your own set of acrylics just go ahead and see a professional to get them removed um at a nail salon or whatnot but with that being said um let's go ahead and let's get, get into the video i'm going to share with you guys some tips and some ways that i remove acrylics and yeah so let's get into it okay all right hello there you guys so let's start off with first um the tools that i'm going to be using to remove my acrylic nails now this product here is the most important product along with what you use to take off your nails but you need a hundred percent strength acetone okay not nail polish remover but a hundred percent acetone okay if it's not 100% acetone, it will not remove acrylic. So you have to make sure that it is 100% acetone. And also too, if you ever want to double check, it always says on here that it will help to brush, it will help to lift artificial nails, or it will say something along that lines. As well as this one on the back also tells you how to use it to remove artificial nails. So these are just some key things to look out for if you plan on doing this at home. Also, this here is a new one. I've never used this type of method before, so I'm gonna do that today with you guys. But if you see on the inside, there's a brush. I'm gonna try to tilt it but not spill any. There's like these little brush, brush things on the inside, so you're pretty much supposed to put your fingers in it and let it soak, and then it'll um, start to remove the acrylic from the nail. So I'm gonna try that method. Usually how I do do it, um, especially when I was back in school, we would take a cotton ball, dip this acetone on it, and then we'll place it on the nail and wrap it in foil and let it sit for some time. And then when it starts to like come off, you just scrape it off with the cuticle um, pusher or file, okay? So, but we're gonna try it this way today and hopefully everything works out. I'm going to use these pair of, I don't know if these are eyebrow scissors. I think they're eyebrow scissors if they're not cuticle. I don't think they're cuticle scissors. Cuticle scissors are a little bit more rounded, but I think these are eyebrow scissors. I cannot find my metal cuticle pusher. I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna use this and I felt this was okay because it does have a rounded tip as well as when I am removing the acrylic I'm going to be working away from the cuticle not towards the cuticle so I don't have to worry about stabbing myself or anything so we're going to use this to remove it and then I just have a nail file for whatever reason if I need to file my nail down or whatnot but I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this so let's go ahead and let's get started um I'm going to go ahead and sh I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this hand first so you guys see this hand here. Now if you see my nail here, this is a prime example and I want you guys to take note from myself. This is what happens when you number one, allow your nails to grow out too far. If you guys can see, my nails are way overdue for either a fill or either to be removed. When you wait too long, in my case, the nail bent right here and so it broke. 
So now I have a case where my nail has broken and I end up having to cut it down this way and then take off the rest of the nail because my nails were too overdue. So another thing about this is that when you have acrylics, don't wait till they grow out this far for you to refill them or remove them because that will cause damage to your nails. So just keep that in mind and I know better than that, but hey, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the acrylic and I'm just gonna just dip my finger into it. I don't even know how long um, I'm gonna do this for. Let me lift you guys up a little bit. I'm just gonna test this method of placing, I guess, would it be one finger at a time? Oh, I could probably do two fingers at a time. So I'm gonna just do these two fingers and I don't know, it's a tight fit. You can probably do one finger at a time. This is really odd for me because like I said, I've never done it in this method before. And I don't even know how long I'm supposed to keep it in here for. Um, Let me read some directions really quickly. See, we're learning together. So it says insert finger and soak nail tip wraps artificials to dissolve them. Scrub fingernail up and down against the bristles may help make the additional file to Okay, remove any additional. I probably would say try this with one finger, even though I feel like one finger at a time is going to take forever. Like forever, forever, forever. So I'm just gonna leave these in here. They said that you can like wiggle it around, move it up and down against the bristles to help to remove the acrylic. Um, guys, just uh, stay tuned. <laughs> this is odd. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and this is what my nails look like now. I just soaked these two nails, and you can see that the acrylic is awfully, is coming off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my file instead of using this, and I'm just going to file down or file off that acrylic. And if you guys can see, the acrylic comes off really easy. Like, it just rolls right off. And you can actually start to see my real nail underneath it. But I'm just going to start to gradually file away um, the acrylic. Now, I've had my hand in the solution for probably about 20 minutes. Um, probably about like 15, 20 minutes. And you guys, this stuff, it doesn't really budge too much. Acrylic is definitely something that you have to take your time with to remove. And like now I'm starting to think to myself like do I want to actually put my fingers in there for any longer or do I just want to leave my nails where they're at right now as far as like just a thin amount of acrylic on them and then I can come back maybe in a couple of days and continue to remove the acrylic because acetone already is really damaging for the nails so so I end up making a little baggie with some acetone in it to soak my fingers in so it can be a quicker process and it's kind of like a baggy method in a way all right you guys so I'm gonna take my hand out of this bag it's been about probably 10 minutes um and put that there so if you guys can see especially from these fingers you can actually see the acrylic has come up a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my file and I'm going to file away some more acrylic. All right, you guys, so this is the final results of my nails. Um, this is about 30 minutes, maybe 30, 45 minutes later of me soaking my nails in acetone. And yo, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, 
I am not a fan of the taking off the acrylic nail process. One of the reasons why I try to stay away from acrylic nails is because removing them is so, it's just, it's crazy. But if you remove them, I have another hand to do. Which I have another hand that needs to be done, but I'm not doing it today. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I don't have the patience or the time. And I put down some cuticle, I mean some jojoba oil on my nails. They're a little rough looking right now, um, which is going to happen because they've been suffocated under acrylic this entire time. But they're off. And that is how you guys can remove your acrylics at home. It takes a lot of patience and time, but eventually it all comes off. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your girl, Miss Marie. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in a later video.